Guys, we are about to do the combo. It's time to play. Guess what turn it is? Is it turn 10? Is it turn five? Oh, this is, this is disgusting. It's just disgusting. Look at this play. Uh, -huh. we play Warlord on turn three, guys. And we can still keep playing. Making content for you guys is a full-time job, and it's only possible with your support. Click the link in the description to join my Patreon for access to exclusive streams, deep fry podcasts, private video calls, and more. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing a brand new version of Conjure Leap. Typically, of course, you do this with Hugh Giganticus. Uh, because you have space time that makes all the cards you conjure cost less. The idea of this deck is to do Conjure Leap with Rust Bolt because you have Flag Zombie that makes every card uh, cost less. So the cool cards you have um, with Rust Bolt are going to be the hardy cards that conjure, particularly Cosmic Sports Star. Uh, this is actually a very good deal because this can give you, first of all, just a 3 cost 2-2 two, two, and gain a sumo that costs 0 that turn is ridiculous value. It's probably one of the better overall Cosmic Sports Stars, but it gets really neat when you start conjuring expensive uh, sports zombies uh, like All-Star, Rodeo Garg, Knight of the Living Dead. Uh, because those cards can be played now for two less, three less if you have a flag zombie on the field. And then you can leap them. So, for example, Knight, that's a seven cost card. It is a sport zombie. You'll be playing it for five. When you leap it, it still turns into that eight cost card. Hopefully, we'll be able to pull off that combo. You also have Middle Manager, which is Conjuring, which is a very good card with flag zombie. Because you play flag zombie on turn two. And then you just Middle Manager. And then if this Conjure is a one cost card, you can play that as well. Um, we are running Warlords, so every single card that you're playing again for cheaper will still get this 1-1 one, one buff. So all the uh, Conjure cards end up being sort of doubly buffed by Warlord because their card they Conjure also um, does get the 1-1 one, one buff for the rest of the game. So there's a very cool combo you can do, which is Flag Zombie on turn 2, maybe with a Middle Manager. And then on turn 3, you're able to play Brain Vendor, which will cost 2 and give you 3 brains. So it's turn 3... This will play Brain Vendor basically brings you to four brains because you gain one since you're playing it for cheaper. And then you're able to play four cost Warlord on turn three, which is just... <laughs> so if we could pull off that combo, that would be awesome. Uh, running some going viral, some rockets. Rolling Stone is important in this deck and running four of them for removal because very often you're really not doing much the first two turns. There isn't, it's just isn't like a flag swarm deck because I'm not running all the little one drops. You could run Genetic Experiment. I really wanted to try Cosmic Scientist since, again, it's a card we hardly ever use and I think it will be good in this deck uh, because of the buffs from the Warlord and because of the Flag Zombie and the Leaps. Uh, so you basically are going to Rolling Stone the first couple of turns, maybe do like a Flag Cosmic, then play your Middle Manager like all on turn three. You can Even on turn three, you could just play Brain Vendor and Leap it with one of your Leap cards um, because this is, again, a three-cost card that gives you three brains back, so you can leap this easily into a four-cost card. Leaping Warlord is also a very good idea because the value is already there, and you might as well leap this 3-3 three, three into, you know, a massive six-drop. Uh, let's get right into the game. So hope you guys enjoy, and hope we get right into it. We're going to do bets. Uh, we should have time for ten games today. If you think this deck will win seven out of ten, vote yes. Six out of ten is going to be an over here at the live stream. Twitch.tv forward slash fry up. You guys have any tips for ZMAC? Do a uh, Trick Mac. Look for the Thomas the Tank Engine thumbnail. You'll find that. Um, just type in Trick Mac, fry him up. You'll find it. That's a good deck. All right, guys. So Rocket, we're definitely get rid of against Citron. Uh, I'll keep Rolling Stone. I, you know, going viral is weird. You can almost do this deck without going viral. It's it's such a good card though because this deck's so swarmy. We could like ditch this and look for look for you know flag zombie or eh, it's okay. I am going to well we're never gonna rolling stone on turn one, so I think I'll actually spam middle manager. I wanna save against it trying to get rolling stone for turn two for the triceratops. Uh, so you use a one drop for half of a one drop, so we're winning. We have card advantage now. Got a little leap. We do have the answer to try carrots up, so which is lovely. Rolling stones really important for this deck again for the first couple of turns. The more rolling stones, yeah. Even if you have two or three rolling stones in your starting hand, it's usually good. 
Forget me nuts. And protect. So all Rolling Stone that. Two for one again. So now look at his cards. <laughs> he has three, we have five. Let's go. That was crazy. Uh, so I'm gonna go with you. We can still play Leap if we develop you, and who knows, maybe we'll get something better than Transformation Station. It's not a bad card. I'll still go for the station. Best case scenario is he commits Spike Weed Sector here. Or that, wow. See, here's another two for one. La di da di da di da. <laughs> the advantage. We've gained an advantage on him literally every single turn. It's been basically a two for one. That's cool. It's a conjure. Let's see what we get. This is probably going to be playable here, too. Dancing cards are cheap, except for this one. Come on, man. Uh, so we have going viral. I'm not really feeling it. I think being able to play Disco Draw next turn is probably a good idea. So let's play Flag and just draw. And who knows? Maybe we'll get a Rolling Stone. All right. If he kills anything that's not the flag zombie, we will have the, uh... Bruh. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's running, man. Setting up a candlelight right next turn, maybe. But this turns into a 5. Pretty damn good. Yeah, I know. Why would you root wall against... He was playing around like Nibble and Bungie Plumber, but we don't have this. Uh, really? Oh my gosh. Getting Warlord is insane. We have four guys on the board. We also top deck Rolling Stone, so when he plays Bicanalith, he loses. Oh, look, look at this play here. Bruh. So we'll give him one of these. I don't think we need to leap anymore. I think we're just going to go in viral. Oh my gosh. Here's a, here's a leap. All right. Let's see what we get from Warlord. It's a wizard. Uh, maybe I should have Rolling Stone there. Whoops. Yeah, Rolling Stone would have done more damage. It's okay. We're leaping to a 7 drop now. Mostly gets Mog. Eh, wasn't a great leap. Because then he just Mogs this. It's a 1 and 2 chance. Mm, it's okay. On me. It's okay. Had a good play. Some strike there, it's not bad. Goodbye. I don't know what that game was. A decisive victory is what it was. <sighs> uh, I'm not really sure. What's BM stand for? Bed manners. It's when you're gonna win. You just do stupid stuff anyway. We need a leap. Uh, we need this looks pretty leap. good. Gonna... Messi or Ronaldo? <laughs> uh, Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> I just say that to make football fans mad. <laughs> he doesn't even play soccer. What's the funniest response when someone asks you Messi or Ronaldo? Is there like a really... <laughs> someone keeps spamming in the chat. Fry, who's your girlfriend? Bruh. What am I supposed to say? You want me to say your name? <laughs> it's not anyone in the chat, okay? Promise. If you want to see her, you have to sign up to the OnlyFans. There is a picture of her there. We need a leap! <laughs> it's not what you think, guys. It's just a picture. It's just a cosplay. OnlyFans.com forward slash prime up. Don't, sub don't subscribe, please. Guys, don't do it. Don't subscribe to Only. I don't want to make OnlyFans content. It's not for me. I always get uh, Firefighter from Middle Manager. It means you can, like, pop some of your cards back. It's okay. What do I actually do here? Wish I could play this and leap it. I think I'll go for the leap here, and if it doesn't work, I'll do it next turn. Worst case scenario, it's just absorbs some removal, you know? 
I have a feeling we're gonna Warlord and then really start rolling. <laughs> I really could have just passed there. Kind of high reward, but pretty unlikely that. Oh, never mind. Looks like we got him. Yes, Parasol so good against Solar Flare. Now we can play whatever we want on the ground and it won't matter. I'm literally just going to keep this around. Ever, all the removal in the deck just got completely negated. <laughs> Hell yeah. We also have this combo to remove anything, which is Rolling Stone with, with uh, Shrink Ray. Bruh. So easy Rolling Stone. Definitely don't want him doubling up on anything next turn. Anything crazy, but yeah, we got Warlord now. Ridiculous. Disgusting. <laughs> la 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 la. Yeah, it's, it's such a safe play because of the Parasol. I love getting Parasol. Should I run Parasol on this deck? Instead of Cosmic Scientist? Maybe I should. Is Parasol just really good? When I was tested this deck offline, by the way. This is like the fifth iteration. I work like hell on this deck. Um, every time I've gotten Parasol, it's just been ridiculous against like Rose and Solar Flare. I like French fries. I'm going to keep an eye on it. I might take out Cosmic Scientist and just run Parasol instead. It's so good with Leap Station. I think I can just go with, like... This is a, probably the last turn we're going to be able to, to actually use this card. Maybe I'll just Leap it, too. Okay. Oh no, he's doing face. He's doing some face. No one cares. It'll turn to a 5-drop that's buffed by Warlord, so it should be able to take it out. Uh, so definitely pop this back. It's it's a decent leap. It's fine. Could have also protected the Parasol there. Dude, barely. <laughs> Gosh. Well, it's still protected, so we'll be able to give it going virals and buff this card. It's okay. It went face for 4. Damn, that's crazy. Well, this works with going viral. Maybe we'll, like, going viral and leap here. That's pretty good. We'll rock it if we need to. Where's the rocket? Uh, I think I'm gonna leap this one. Let's see what we get. It's a six drop. So that's really strong. Oh, so strong, bros. And we'll just rocket this, because I love the parasol. Because now this is gonna do six. I hope this goes to the right. It's gonna do so much damage here. Can you go water, please? Idiot. <laughs> Come on, man. It's still okay. Look at these going virals are just going to take over the game. And if opponent can't ping anything, you can hit the 6-7 with, I don't know, with, with your super, it's fine. <laughs> Scorch does nothing. I think this deck with legit Parasol is just going to carry in this deck. So we're going to go, go double going viral Shrink Ray Rolling Stone here. Or something like that. My gosh, this is so strong. Should I Shrink Ray Rolling Stone right now and save the rocket? It means I can use another going viral here, which is kind of ridiculous. Alright, I think I will. There's so much damage. <laughs> I've got another rocket. With the rockets in hand, we're never going to need to Shrink Ray Rolling Stone. So this is so good. And this is also going to hit again. The 8-9 is going to hit again. It's, 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 it's disgusting. Go! Pace! What do we get? Zombot! That's fine. That's like a 5-2. <laughs> the, uh, the fossil head is like double untrickable. Uh, we're not gonna win, but we'll get him next turn. If he kills the 5-2, it means I just Warlord here. Parasol will break down enough early game. I'm just like, I think Cosmic Scientist breaks too, because what? I'm gonna play that on two? How does that not break early? Cosmic Scientist, you're always playing later, like on turn four. With a flag zombie. Yeah, he did it. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Thanks for giving me board space. I really appreciate it. Okay. Here, is this, do you like this one better? <laughs> is that better now? Now what? You got 10 sun. Play Cornucopia. Please make my day and play Cornucopia. 
Even if he gets the great zucchini from Cornucopia, we still have all three threes. We'll still win with the going viral. Hell yeah. He wrecked. I'm going to go with my gut. I, I, I've been experimenting with things. There's, I, I was thinking even of running Cryobrain in this deck. Because getting an early Cryobrain is one of the best things you can get early. Because it gets you into sort of this turn like 4 or 5, which you start popping your Warlord early and stuff. I love Paracel in this deck, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Absolutely love it. Oh, I'll change the deck list real quick. We'll see. We'll see if it breaks. The the deck is not great at dealing with early game aggression. I don't know what to run. I could run beam me up. I'm still like still working on this deck list, guys. We have the combo. I have to go for it at least once. See if we can get like a Rolling Stone Rock. It's fine. Uh, luckily, Grass Knuckles is really not good at dealing with Flag Zombie at all. We are going to go for the turn three Warlord. Yeah, so opponent just draws cards. No aggression. You just don't want to see them be playing a card on one, two, and three. It's really hard to deal with. So it's going to be Flag. I think I'm going to just develop Middle Manager, because why the hell not? There's no reason not to. Flag will be protected on Heights, since it's really important here. We have to leave two spaces. I can't even play second Middle Manager. Too bad. I'll play it if he kills the first Middle Manager. I'll play the next one next turn. And it turns into a 2-3. This is disgusting, guys. I mean, he would need, if he has a split P, a fire P, he can answer. There's not a whole lot of three attack, two clusters in his kit. Yes. Guys, we are about to do the combo. It's time to play. Guess what turn it is? Is it turn 10? Is it turn 5? Oh, this is, this is disgusting. It's just disgusting. Look at this play. Uh-huh. We play Warlord on turn 3, guys. And we can still keep playing. Bruh. This is insane. This is insane. Hell yeah. <laughs> Turn three warlord, guys. The corn dog again. It's not a lot of corn dogs being played in the meta these days. This is so cool. I could have played flag zombie and also nerf something. It doesn't matter. It really does not. <laughs> Hell yeah. So we'll just rock it, which is fine for turn four. It slows him down, and we can nerf whatever else he plays. It's perfect. This is actually just a, a, a perfect end on a full field. And once he removes something. I might even let something die so I can start developing some bigger minions, you know? Dude. 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 Bruh. Damn, that's so annoying. We can't do anything. We could, uh, reduce the attack of this. Of the Umbrella Leaf. Makes all these guys untriggerable. Come on, man. It's okay. We still have Flag Zombies, so we can replenish this way. See, look how easy it is to replenish a board in this game. In fact... Oh my gosh. This... This firework zombie is is in, is actually insane. So what is the play now? I think taking one one more damage on this is okay. I mean it's two two. I think we're gonna take the damage here. So it's gonna be uh. Look at the fireworks. It does so much. Die. And we'll play one, and we can still leap if we want. What a firework zombie. Uh, we could play this and just kill that straight up on top of the Cosmic Sports Star. <laughs> you know what? Just to tell this guy, screw you. Bye, board. Remember that time that you had like a, a, a pair of a grizzly pair and you had to try carrot tops and your guys were untrickable? You blink and they're gone. Oh, I should have saved it. Oh, well. <laughs> How about no? But it's still fine. We're doing nine. We're, well, we'll proc the block and do eight, basically. And see if he gets rumble here. It'll be good. It'll save him four health. 
But we're just gonna leap this five drops. Why I wanted to play this sooner. Leaping this next turn is gonna be really good. Yes. Replenish. You have to replenish, okay? Damn, we can't deal with that, but it's okay. And nerfing something <laughs> using string gray with pecan elf on the board does nothing. Hopefully he plays a rocketable minion. They see me rolling. I trolling. Plant food. Bruh? Yeah, leaping this and killing the... Bruh. Anyway. Dude! <laughs> uh, we leap you. Let's get a six drop. See what's in the box. Oh, shark! Nice! Oh my gosh, this parasol. The parasol's gonna carry. You guys know that, right? Because the banana bomb just got negated. So that's a 6-2. I don't know if to say it. This dies. Noink. I think just Parasol in here. It, it, the spike weed sector does so little to it. So he's either got time to shine, root wall. He used Holoflorum once, so it's time to shine a root wall. Right? Wait, did he use Rumble yet? I don't remember. Uh, so this will be three, and then we'll still can play four. This is amazing. I love the flag zombies with Warlord. Usually these are such break late game, but it's actually a 2-4. It's, like, not bad. And then you start playing going virals and more Warlords on it. This is threatening the banana launcher. You can use the banana bomb on this 2-4, and that's it. Love to see it. He was going to banana bomb the 7-2, but now this parasol screwed him. You understand? Can you grow this, please? Uh, well, we nerf. He'll do zero plus zero. Wee! This is so good. <laughs> it's amazing. He thinks this is gonna die too. Now his banana launcher dies. <gasps> we need a leap. So this we need right now this to do have three attack. This will have three attack, right? A three drop. Uh, I think that works. Cause now it has two plus yeah. Oh, that's lethal. Got him. <laughs> oh look! <laughs> look what I found, mommy. <laughs> A rolling stone. So beautiful. Alright, so this thing just dominated three games in a row. Come on, guys. Yes! <laughs> guys, come on! You're feeling the Conjure Leap magic. I hope you are. This is obviously so different. No space time. No Pogo Mug. We're just running Warlord. This this deck is actually a mix sort of between Huge Giganticus Conjure Leap. And then with Neptuno, we had Flag Conjure. So this is like Flag Conjure Leap. It's kind of a mix. Obviously, you have to be Rust Bolt. It's kind of weird doing a Thrust Bolt. I also sort of got this idea from someone. I should probably give them a quick shout out right now. This is very, very far away. The deck didn't have leaps, and the deck looked very, very different from this, but uh, there was a person, someone who, na who named Flash Jesus, who said Flag Conjure with Rust Bolt. He, he put Bad Moon Rising. I tried the Bad Moon Rising. I could never get it to work because then just the games didn't, didn't last long enough. And by that time, if you last to turn 7, you're kind of already winning. This is fine. It's a good starting hand. Uh, so again, we're always rolling stoning on 2, so we'll spam this on 1, see what we get. I love Middle Manager, one of my favorite cards in the game. Uh, so thank you again to Flash Jesus for at least... Um, the flag and the conjure was the with Rust Bolt was the idea. And then, you know, his idea was it's Rust Bolt run Bad Moon Rising. My idea was, hell no, we're running a leap. Uh, definitely say that. The parasol was the parasol was in the yeah the parasol was a sixty nine, of course. The parasol really popped off there. They'll put this on ground in case we get leap station. But yeah, it's just rolling stone and leap here, and not a whole lot. Beta Caratina runs to deal with a two one. Are you gonna? Oh, he's gonna get this up to three. It's so annoying. So we can't rolling stone it. Unfortunately. We'll just get a Pogo here. It's fine. Come on, Pogo. <laughs> nope. The 4-3. Essentially a 3 cost 4-3. It's pretty good. Not even. It's like a 0 cost 4-3. Ah, so how do we do this? We can go 2 and 2. We can also leap this already. Um, This is a little awkward. I'm going to go... I'm gonna take this damage. Set up flag for next turn, I think is really good. 
And uh, we might be able to get value from that. I'll get it next turn. I'm probably just going to leap the 4 3. Immediately into Warlord next turn. It's annoying. We have three rockets and a chop somewhere. I think this is still worth it because getting this to five. Wow. Should I should I try to, to contest here? I could also go face for five. I think I do contest this. Interesting situation. Going on heights means we can't leave station. I think this is okay. So now we have four. This is gonna go like here so we can leap it. And I guess one. Yeah. Spike weed in four would hurt, especially with two environments in hand. Uh, really, just would like to not die. The longer this game goes, the more card advantage we're gonna get. That's fine. Oh, he's putting it here. Smart. It's quite smart indeed. Wow. There goes my board. Well, we can we can do this. Great Rolling Stone. Just means there's only one of these we have to deal with. Uh, we'll get a rocket eventually. We're able to stall here because we have a lot of conjure. Right? I was gonna run maybe Kite Flyer in this deck. I feel like maybe just running Beat Me Up in two instead of the Parasol might be the, the play. This cost, this actually ramps us, which is so cool. We have to figure out which body we're sacrificing to stall here. I'm pretty sure it's, this is the worst body. Let's, um, let's play this one first, too. We can always play this after and get some ramp. Oh my gosh, another one. La, 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 Well, killing this is actually doing three here is okay. Let's see what we get. <laughs> it's almost not worth it to use this to cover because it only gives two, three worth of stats. There's no need to ramp here. I think I'm just going to put this and then maybe double leap station. I could have combined this into a... So it would have been a 5 4. Where the heck did he get this from? I'm a walnut. We will leap you. I'm pretty sure we're leaping both. Is having flag here still good? Nah. We chillin'. He could tractor one of these cards out of the leap station or to go face for 8. That would actually be smarter. What is he gonna choose? Wow, decides to deny the leap instead of going face for eight. Really happy he did that. That wasn't a great play. Can we get a rocket? We really need the rocket. Uh, so we're getting a four. Oh, that's cool. That doesn't steal any sun here. Uh, the difference between three and two doesn't matter, so we might as well pick up a, a professional. Maybe we'll get like a nurse or something. No. We'll put the four in here. Yeah, we have a lot of health. We have 20 health, including our heal and hand. But yeah, Bucket Boy just being a 4-5 is kind of ridiculous. Squash is that. Got Squash from Lightspeed, so this guy's playing Solar. <laughs> solar Heroes here. Uh, this is as good a time as I need to heal. It'll bring us up to 20. Block's gonna get charged at some point here. Chop! Yes! Now this goes face for four. This is actually like a huge threat. Look at it go face. Leaping to a five drop now. There's a leap. Perfect. I'll probably leap the <laughs> walrus. Walrus. So this actually takes it out. This goes here. Not only threatens this lane, but again, we could leap lane two now. We'll either do two or three. Depending on what he plays. Bruh. Oh, that's a... Damn, that's a six. Dude! The guy's actually running three Peter with three Na. Holy crap. So, i just trying to think statistically, do six drops have six health? Like, which six drops have five health? I guess, like, Coffee Zombie would kind of suck. I mean, four drops are always going to live... I, I just don't know have have in my face like what are all the six drops? Almost all six drops have a, have it would have to have natural six health and go to seven, but there's also like the five five, stinky. 
You know what? I'm gonna YOLO this. We're out of cards. Yes! Oh, it doesn't... It's like the one card that doesn't leap, though, ever. It's too bad. Oh no, I forgot it's gonna get hit by the three, Peter. I'm so stupid. Oh no. It's gonna die for free. I needed a leap lane, too. What a dummy I am. He's also just gaining more card advantage. <sighs> Such a bad play. Can you get a Warlord? <laughs> that was terrible, because I actually could have... That didn't do anything. In fact, that leap, I completely wasted that leap. We would have had a 5-drop here, which we could protect with Parasol. That would have been amazing. That would have been game-defining. My bad, guys. For real, my bad. Why is he not taking out the 3-2, though? Must have a different plan. I, I completely messed it up. Nice going after this. We're still getting four and we're leaping to a to a five. There's a block. Uh this has to be right. We gotta keep the momentum. We also have two more cards this turn. There's a rocket. I have eight health. He's going to have card advantages the rest of the game, so I, I don't think there's any point in trying to deny that. <sighs> this Rolling Stone bricks here because of Drina. Dude, could you not? Okay, this can go face with Rocket, I guess. It's pretty good. Pogo. <laughs> what do we Pogo here is the real question. Like, this is Rocketable. I feel like this is the card we don't want. I don't know if he dragons. Uh, it's such an awkward place to get a pogo. We have Rolling Stone and Rocket, so we just don't want Three Nut to be around. It just makes us win more in it this way. Espresso. So that's gonna do a ton. He'll probably play one Rolling Stoneable minion and we'll block and win. I mean, usually. In fact, we have Rocket too. Dude. We're only getting one. Did you not roll three, please? <laughs> it's all going so horribly wrong. So we need some kind of conjure. Would be nice. That is not what we needed right now. And we only have one damage on the board. Blockbuster wins. Game over. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I can see. Uh, we ran out of steam with the conjure deck. You bet. So probably making the right play in, uh, in lane two. I I didn't calculate the the three Peter. That probably would have made us win. We were so close. Uh, da, 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 da. It usually doesn't die on turn two. I think we're gonna. Should I keep leaps though? It's kind of ambitious. This is better. All right, I'll keep one leap. Uh, so flag in one looks good. I think if we get, um, <laughs> just trying to think, if we play this for two, so we'll have one left, and we get, um, exactly Brain Vendor, which will cost zero, we can actually play Warlord here. Come on! Brain Vendor. Ugh. Anyway. We have turn four Whirler though, it's pretty good. Yeah, leaping 
can tell Zombot. It's not so common in the stack. It can happen, though. I think I pulled it up once, that point. So, we definitely want the Warlord to live here. Let's see what we get. This fireworks good. Easy Warlord. Heals. Well, we have environments. I wonder if I should save the second environment for, like, encountering an environment. I might. He's healing up. Doesn't really matter in the long scope. He's at 18 health anyway right now. There's a rocket. It's nice. Uh, leaping this is probably better than the... Than the than the the four or five. There's hello. Which is more dangerous? That's the real question. I also could just double leap this turn. <laughs> it's insane. Screw it. I don't care about the four damage I'm taking. Wow, we are protected! <laughs> That's so good. Alright, screw it. Yeah, we don't take any damage anyway. Because of the gladiators protected. Oh, maybe I should have put leap here. Oh well. Uh, for two, it's pretty good. We can rock it, we can double leap. Uh, we can rock wall, rock it, I guess. I'm rocketing this one. It gives us a four drop, about four drop. Aloe's still annoying, but it's okay. I didn't calculate the damage. Maybe going face for nine was better there. He ain't blocking that one good. We'll probably just leap this next turn. We oh another rocket. So rocket and leaps. Looks awfully good. We're not taking any damage. <laughs> La dee da dee da. Lawnmower to bed. I'm trying to bait out his next environment. It's okay. Rock a dish. There isn't really a whole lot he can do about... Mm, this is actually good to go this turn. I, I think I'll just use these. I'll use this next turn. It's the difference between four. Maybe a difference between like two damage. So. You kind of want to leap the, this card when it's in trouble, so it keeps it alive. These flags are so brick, though. Hip, pip, 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 Do this here to play slightly around Q. Ah, uh, it's so annoying. <laughs> Eyes for man. Bruh. I think we're gonna save these for a more expensive card. Leaping Gladiator at this point is just so sad. Yeah, Gladiator prevented a lot of damage there though. It got protected by Coach and by and by Barrel Boy. Yes, here we go. Should I be leaping this one? Not so sure. Whoops, I completely misplayed, but it doesn't matter. I guess if we get going viral from this, it would matter. Some heals. So, this already lives, but I think leap, leaping... Yeah, okay, now it doesn't, so we'll definitely leap this one. trick or treat -a. trick or trick or treat -a. Uh, that's cool. So if we get sugary treat, we can kill this one. Alright, let's go for it. Great trick or treating. Yes. Pretty sure we do this. It's really just about card advantage now. We're not going to be able to burst down 19. So we just got to keep the advantage 
the card advantage going. This will leap now. And I wish we had this for longer, but it's okay. We'll just get Mad Gamma, so it'll be fine. Boogie board! It's 5 4. I'm very sad indeed. I don't know what to do. It's so awkward. We need more cards. <laughs> maybe I'm with the parasol. Like maybe Chemist would have just been better because it's more cards, man. I don't know. I'm going to play this on ground and maybe start leaping it. I should probably just leap here. Gosh, it's so sad. Uh, I think keeping Parasol long term is a bad idea. So let's just start leaping this lane, too. This guy doesn't have an environment, apparently. Woo! Give me a good five. We need like going virals. There you go. That's what we're looking for. Gonna drag that out. That's so sad. And you get a hunt minion. No! Uh, he's just getting better better cards down the late stretch. It's 11. We have to do this just for a card. Oh boy. <laughs> should I leap or should I just wait till to see what I get next turn? I think I'm gonna save this. Whoa! We're almost dead. There's Warlord. So I could try to Warlord here or I could Warlord leap and rely on the block. I think our win chance of winning goes up when we do it here. We have to block. He is protected! I think it's a card. Ugh. So now... Come on, I don't know what we're looking for. <laughs> D. Roll one. Yes! <laughs> he rolled a one. Okay, we're good. Uh, we'll do this. Now, so we can get extra damage in here? I don't know. Oh, he's protected. Whoops. Stupid. Yes, here's some conjures. This actually... Rodeo, okay. So this is gonna go here. I'll probably get a more expensive card to put in here. Can we get like a knight or something? Oh, Pogo. Ain't bad. Griefstone, let's see if he can bust that. Of course he can. Called Brickbuster. There's Blockbuster and Brickbuster. This one breaks. We're not running any gravestones in this, but he still got it. Two damage. <laughs> That's funny though. Guys, look at Rodeo. We need a leap. A leap is a Zaba. Starting off with Plankwalker would be nice. He only has the one card. First of all, can we get Plankwalker? Parasol. Honestly, right now, with the Parasol, the, the, the Octo would not have been bad. What do we get from this? Give us another Warlord. Instead... This is rough. Bonus attack! Oh, oh we can't... <laughs> Die! <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> Leaps happen from left to right, so the card that this what created actually did leap. Now, he needs a strike through or a removal to win. Hammer won't do it. It's going to have to be a squash or a cob cannon or something like that. He only has the two cards, though. We could have this, guys. Eight and six wins. Uh, of two cards, he needs to, you know, he needs to have one removal card. If we come back in this game, guys, this is the comeback of the century. Yes! We won! 
man. <laughs> Somehow, someway, Contra Leap always makes it work. Let's go. That was the comeback of the century, you guys. Come on, man. <laughs> We've been sitting on two health for so long. <laughs> Hell yeah. I light match. Uh, we're four and two, four and one. Nice. <laughs> uh, keep going. Uh, is double flag good? Is going viral good? I really still don't know how to mulligan this deck. Alright, let's not double flag. Should we go for the brain vendor? <laughs> Too bad. We'll get it, guys. Don't worry. Easy. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's try this. He'll just leap the flag. Probably should have waited a turn on the flag. Wow, he's actually running Fire B. Who runs this? God damn. Uh, I'm just gonna remind the chat that I'm a real person. So pretend that you're like talking to a, about. If you're talking about me, pretend I'm like in the room with you and act accordingly. Okay. I know it's really weird. I know it's like. It's like we're in a car where you think there's gonna be you can like flip anyone off and say whatever you want and there's not gonna be any consequences. Well there is. Be a mensch. Thank you! Uh this is okay. They one for one trades and we get a card. Oh ho ho Okay, so we're ramping to Warlord on turn four, that's nice. Oh no. In fact, we'll have. Oh my gosh! Wait, 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 wait. So two. Then we'll play this. We'll be up to five. We'll have two. We'll be up to five and play. Yeah, I guess we play all these, right? It's pretty damn good. And then we can play Rockwell. Looks lovely. Look at this play. We will leap later. Oh, this should have probably been on the ground because it's the card we want to leap. I'd rather we leap Warlord anyway, then. <sighs> oh, it's happening. Yeah, Fry's really a robot. I'm not real. Fry doesn't exist. So I'll just rock wall whatever he sucks in. This is so annoying. He'll probably keep this alive too. I don't have a rolling stone for this, unfortunately. If he puts like a torchwood here, that would be cool. Oh, that's the one? So you're letting me kill this or you have a torchwood? What's your deal? What is your deal, bro? <laughs> the flag zombie is the one! That's what I carry? So I'm not rock walling anything. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna play around Rumble. He wouldn't have even time to show. Oh, he can't, because he used time to shine. Shut up and take my money. Thank you, Burke. What is your personal opinion on the parrot drone from Garden <laughs> Warfare 2? I think it's pretty cool. Just as cool as the Fright Emma Patreon. <laughs> Thank you, Burke. I'm gonna try to leap this. We might even spend a rock wall to get this leaped. And we'll we'll parasol next turn. And we got a buffed six drop. Let's go. We're at ten, but it's okay. This four seven. This will deal with us next turn. <sighs> go, yo, Harry Wizard. Let's do this and protect. See, now this can leap and it can't get shamrocketed. Which is ridiculous, and it's not going to take any damage from anything. So that should be a... 
Paradrone, yeah, it doesn't work against bots. It only works against real players. The bot always oh, see it. They have eyes in the top of their head. Real people, though, they can never see where it's coming from. That's a five. It doesn't do anything, though. Why did he play this? This doesn't do anything. Bruh. Uh, protecting this for one more turn. I might just rocket the 4-1 the here. We'll see what happens. So it leaps to 7 now. Another Warlord. Wanna be hero. It's a 7-11. 7, -11. 7 Um, Is Rocket worth it? Better than Warlord? Warlord. Yeah, I'm gonna have to Rocket here. Back here, bounce. He costs 5-5. Five, five. Pretty good. <laughs> Astrocado dies. Um, so there's a good argument for rocketing either one of these. It also like procs the block and then goes phase. I I'm gonna go with my gut and keep the parasol alive. I think this is this this lane is gonna just win us the game. We're taking five. It also means he has the three one that lives here. It's okay. It's five damage to face. Hold a two. Kind of hurts. Maybe, maybe just preventing damage to face was the play. His rumble just maybe procs the block, maybe. He already used time to shine, so we don't have to play around that anymore. Thankfully. That's okay. Parasol hard carrying. Let's go. There's a rolling stone. There's a plank walker. So again, this is a giga buffed. Everything gets the buff here. So we'll just play warlord on top of it. Hell yeah, I'm glad at least <laughs> I'd rather get Swabby, it's okay, because we really just want to be able to play the Warlord here. And we got Zombot on deck. Where the heck did he get Astrocado from? It must have been from Primal Walnut. Yes! Can also leap the Warlord here, why not? Zombot is on deck, and he can't do anything because of the Parasol, <laughs> so good. In fact, we usually just win with 8 plus 6 here. Yeah, that's him conceding. Uh-huh, that's what I thought. Goodbye. BM value time. Yeah, I didn't just throw, right? Yeah. It still equals 11. <laughs> yes! This deck's dominating. This deck is actually doing really, really well. Yes. What do you guys think? Parasol or no Parasol? I, I just think that if we didn't have Parasol, we'd be getting shamrocketed to death that game. What do you think? We could have had Doom Germ, we could have had a lot of things that were just dead there. Ah, la, 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 la. Always keep Rolling Stone. Uh, I'll get rid of Leap. Okay, we can't keep both of these. That's actually a pretty good hand. We're just gonna... We're just gonna swarm with professionals. And Leap whatever. <gasps> Guys, we need an environment. We need one. Uh, so that's interesting, but again, we still got a card off of it, so... I think I'm just gonna spam this in here. We can always rolling stone the Triceratops. Lovely day at the office. Dude, okay. I think I'm rolling stoning this now. Oh. The one one. Did I save the rolling stone? What are you doing it on Triceratops? We have chopped to eventually chop Triceratops. Uh, let's see what happens here. Parasol with leaps has always been really good. I'm glad, like, it really, it says a two of. I think it's really good here. That's interesting. So going viral doesn't even correct this trade. It makes this into a 2-1. Also, this going viral is not very good. I think we just leap here. Get a four drop. Wow! <laughs> well, <laughs> similar effect. We got another leap as well. No healing, so I'm gonna leap this again. The sneezing zombie. This is turn four. What are we even expecting this turn? I could just go start going viral here. Go three and going viral. Not really feeling it. I think I'm feeling just Bucket Boy. Let's just develop and we'll develop into better going virals and stuff. I don't really know what the point of protecting this is. 
He just doesn't want this to go face eventually. It's pretty strange. So now we can leap going viral. Uh, la, la, la. We'll just develop this as an extra minion. So we'll leap and either going viral or rocket, depending on what this fool plays. So which one of these should I leap? I think the two four. The three this one with the armor in, in, in the going viral is gonna be good. I could also just leap this one. Cause right now this trades, but otherwise this is gonna be a one trade and it means we'll have an, another big minion on the board kind of for the rest of the game. That is so cool because now these things have attack. In fact, Bucket Boy is making it through now. It turns Sneezing Zombie into from three attack to five. It's such a big difference. This is also proccing the block. We'll see if he gets Mog. But otherwise, this is gonna hurt. We have 11 damage potentially going phase here. I guess there's always Mog, Protect, or Protect, so he's always going to prevent the ones. Okay, he got the Mog. That's okay, though. <laughs> it's fine. Ducky Ducky. Here's five. Love it. Oh, I'd really like an environment. We need a leap. Big time. Uh, more going viral looks good. If we can get a free card off of this, it would be really nice. I'm going to play this here because we really just want to go face. But getting, a, again, a cheap one. Is that good? I mean, it's worth playing with the going viral, right? Or is it? Um... <laughs> it's so sad. I asked for a cheap one. We got the cheapest one. I don't know. If this had one more attack, I'd probably go for it. But Is a 2-2 two, two worth it? We could buff it next turn. It would actually... Okay, one more going... Because one more going viral next turn will actually break it through. I, I guess it's worth it there. We might need the board stays, but he'll probably run. I remove something here. That is okay. Going viral. Ah, oh, so he dies though. So, That's all right. man, we have the uh, the answer to the card draw engine. Bonus down to six though. We just need to really put the pressure here. Hopefully we get a better draw from this Cosmic Sports Star. That's so sad. I wish these cards would not be in the game just because they mess up... They mess up Leap. They mess up Leap and Conjure. Well, not Leap. I guess the Leap from Goat, but still, man. These cards should just be removed from the game. So we have 2-2 two, two, and then either 3 or 2-1. So I think this is good here. Let's see what's in the box. Can we get something expensive this time for next turn? Sort of. So we'll leap this one. And chop. Chop leap looks awfully good. You gotta use this chop whenever you can get it. He got that from Mayflower. That's like so sad. So leap the three into a four. Trap purr. Where does this go? doesn't ever do anything here, so I guess it's here to protect the- OH NO! I finally got an environment and I threw! What am I doing? Well, I have a rolling stone. I have to obviously set it up for the janitor, duh! I'm so stupid! What am I doing? Alright, it's time to get out of my tunnel vision today. Maybe that guy dissing me in the chat was right. I'm off, man. So here's this. Oh, that was such a bad play. Can we get something expensive? God, we're getting all ones, one drops. It's okay. No, 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 not dragon. Not anything but dragon. Oh, it sucks. He's just still drawing. So this costs 9. We can go 0 and 9 here, I suppose. In fact, we can set up, like, two cards here. I wonder if I save the environment for... What am I doing? Oh, see... Just gonna proc the block and draw another card, it's so sad.
Fucking the block is probably the priority here. He's doing five though. It puts us on a clock. Dies for free next turn. Maybe that was bad. <laughs> I'm gonna try to slow down and really concentrate here. I can see that I'm not not playing at full capacity today. So this always happens. I guess Parasol is going in the middle. Let's see what we get from them. No, I was just thinking if we got Nurse, that would be amazing. We can still Rolling Stone here. Rolling Stone makes the Parasol go phase too, which might end up creating lethal. We'll see what happens. Not another dragon! Stop! Oh, okay. He's not really doing any face damage, and he's going to be down to one health here. Oh, it's so sad. We're off by one. Parasol's gone. It'll block this lane and also threaten Linkville, and then here's the heal. The Shamrock, it just wins. Too bad. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah, the dragons really, really hurt us. We have to start, like, we have to win before the dragon comes out. Too bad. Could have had that one. Cut him down to one. <laughs> Every little mistake causes the game. Uh, let's see here. I don't think I'm keeping Parasol here. This is better. Alright, let's see what happens. Anyway. Yeah, Dragon's a good card, man. I think I'm gonna Rolling Stone this. Just so we don't automatically die to second click fee. This way we can nerf it and we'll be alright. If he plays exactly black IP this turn, I'd rather the Rolling Stone for that. You guys know how this works. It's okay. It's a 2 3. Yeah, deck still dominating. We're, we're okay here. Not really sure what to do this turn. It's kind of awkward. I'm just going to put this here to absorb the shot. Just slowing the game down. That is very cool with Warlord. Holy crap. That sounds pretty good. So Warlord into Swimmers. Quite decent indeed next turn. Screwing that. Makes the Swimmer worse in the water right now. It's not going to have as much help. We get Chop, please. Yes, it's so good. So this grows. It's okay. Uh, yeah, the discount doesn't work like in reverse, so it's gonna be is this one? We'll play this immediately. I could also play it here to get like a five eight and actually contest this. Is that insane? I mean, taking three damage is kind of insane, too. 
Honestly, this game is won if we slow it down, so I'm going to play this here. We have such a bigger board. We have card advantage. We just need to not take damage. Jumping on what, though? It's a two-cost card. We'll just get that right back. It's okay. That was this whole turn. That's fine. In fact, it's a one-cost card. We're going to play play. So it's going to be flag. Flag. You're going here now, I think. Honestly, we're just gonna go in viral, so let's just protect ourselves against, um... <laughs> the copy sets. Let's protect ourselves against Gatling P. Going viral now just wins. It'll be six and five. And three. I don't know. <laughs> Almost wins. Jelly Bean. Just gonna keep bouncing this. So we'll do five and three. Preventing damage is probably the way, so you don't die to an Admiral Navy Bean, right? This will go up to four. You get something good. We can Rolling Stone it next turn, I suppose. But this says five, and that still dies. Such a bad leap. This means Admiral doesn't automatically win, though. These probably should have been the other way around, and also in the other order. Just Bungie. Brainana is one off lethal. It really hurts. Skies just has an answer every turn. Ugh. Probably gonna, just gonna get dragoned anyway. It's three. We have a chance of blocking, that's nice. <sighs> One more bungee for the win? <laughs> yeah, and as long I mean, even Dragon... I think we're good here. It's the most anti-trick deck ever, look at this crap. But going viral should win here now. Unless he has another bounce. In which case, we'll do this. I think we good. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> yes, six and two. Two more games, guys. I was leaping it in hopes. I didn't really calculate it right. I, I just didn't do the math right. I was hoping that. I was hoping that it would have enough health, but the chance of it, ha it would have to have had five health, which is only a few five drops that have that. It, it you know, had to been, you know, gatekeeper, basically. It wasn't a good play. <laughs> uh, let's go. Cool. Is this the same guy? Are you the same guy? No. Separate guy, we have 15 health. Just like that. Damn. So annoying. Uh, we'll just control for Warlord.
Uh, so you can rocket or combo, we'll see what happens here. Yeah. Can, now we want like the sumo or the yes. Gosh, that's so good. <laughs> so great. I wonder if we like set this up in a weird lane. Like, is it better here or here? It's always. I think it's always better here because we can either move in Torchwood or we don't. We're, if he does nothing. So annoying though. Actually, no, we nerfed that. So we killed the Torchwood. And we hit this. I'd love to Warlord this turn, but maybe we should save for Rolling Stone. Parasol Rolling Stone ain't bad here. Into Flag Warlord next turn. We can also Flag Parasol here. I don't think so. He probably won't draw two cards here, right? We've got a Rolling Stone this before it gets out of control. Dude, for real? Come on. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about that? That's so annoying. Well, I'm not using it on this now. Now we need another rocket, or we're gonna lose. Anyway, it's so strong, man. There's a rocket. I need to develop Warlord, but I don't really... I don't know. Okay, ah. We'll go for rocket, I guess. Maybe we'll get a good Rolling Stone, too. Oh my gosh. This guy is such a pain in the butt. Could be used heal now. Yeah, card advantage is the one thing I have here. Well, we might as well just use this next turn. Almost any other card we get can be played with Rockwell and Warlord here. We're kind of Warlord bricked a little bit. Let's see what's in the box. Well, this might as well go here, right? We'll do this here next turn. Hopefully he doesn't have another Torchwood. Even if he plays one minion and goes face for three, it's okay. Mm. Ow. Um, this is turn... Three, three, and one. So this turn seven, right? So next turn we'll have four, two, one anyway. So maybe I don't. I, I probably just want the board space. I don't want to save this. We're taking three, but we have the trash here, which is good. Trash warlord is real good. Yeah, like... Really? <laughs> Damn, that was so annoying. He just took too much damage. He's going that. Man, I don't have the answer. Too bad. Was my root walling this? Would rock walling this one? It would have played around Gatling. All right, we're six and three. We're in a six and three scenario, guys. This last game will decide the bets. Here we go. La 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 la. la. Oh, Roy. Chabzilla. Alright. 
We try it. Hopefully we do not see Haunted Pumpkin on one. That would be the worst case scenario. Ugh. Coffee grounds would also suck. I got rid of my station, but this would have been a 4-4 anyway. There's Rolling Stone. Could you not have exactly coffee grounds? Pretty freaking please. Yeah, playing against early game aggression is 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 kind of rough. It's just one of those things this deck just does not do well. Um, I'm gonna commit you, and who knows? Maybe we'll get a one or a two from this that we can play. It's Headstone Carver. Is this worth playing here? Not really feeling it. I mean, if he kills Flag, so then this will cost one. This is turn three. So we'll do this anyway next turn. Alright. Okay. Still not going face though. Okay. Oh, got, got away with that turn pretty well. Uh, so we do have turn four Warlord, which is nice. So we'll use just this to deal with the deal with the cheese and we'll go for we uh, leaping warlord plus this next turn for damn good don't chomp that oh my gosh <laughs> playing it opponents with the most annoying answers today it's so crazy i mean he's gonna have what a three one three two and a two two i think we're still doing really good in this match we can leap one of these as well Let's see if we can actually get a, a cheap card to counter the 3 2 here. Everything is a 1 1 buff. That's. Is this good? I guess just to slow the game down, it's okay. Yeah. We have the card advantage. We just need to stabilize the board a little bit. Like, is leaping this worth it? We'll probably play something next turn. All right, I'm gonna leap. We need the extra card. We'll play this and like rocket next turn, something like that. So these two will work. Brain vendor. Three three also works. That's cool. Uh, so you actually get Chop Rocket, which is nice. Now we chillin'. Now we ch Now we're gonna have card advantage and, and probably board advantage for the rest of the game. Getting Warlord as quickly as you can out, because it gives you, again, Warlord gives you an advantage every turn after that. Not only for the minions on the board, but everything you play from hand, so... Getting Warlord out as fast as possible. I was almost going to run Cryobrain in this deck, not going to lie. Alright, well, 4 and 3 isn't bad. I think we're just going to go for a bigger... If we can get a card to play here for 1, that's fine. We're just going to go for a huge going fire on it. We don't need to play around Cuke. Let's see. Tennis Jam, 5-2, pretty good. So it's going to be going viral and then nerf to, to fix a trade. And if something dies, we have a Parasol on deck. We're good. <sighs> the heals. It's definitely don't want to take this damage. It's going to be going viral. And we're going to nerf just to save our face. Save this character. Ooh! <laughs> we're one brain off me of a Rolling Stone that. We'll go face for six here. That's okay. Do that next turn. Doink, the blocks. Super can hit the 4 3. He got Scorch, it's fine. We got 10 health. I think we're okay here. 
Another going viral. Love to see it. It's 4-4 four, four draw a card. So <laughs> I think we got this game, guys. <laughs> Pretty sure we got him. We'll see what he has for eight. What is he gonna express if he has the six? Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Ow. No, 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 no. We need a rocket. Are we gonna lose this to Gatling again? Can we please get a rocket? No, it's guar it's guaranteed lethal. It's guaranteed lethal. That's so sad. I mean we lost a Gatling P man. <sighs> what do I need? Do I need four rockets in this deck? It never seems like we have enough rockets anyway. Damn it! <laughs> All right, let's try the deck with four brain vendors and four rockets. We'll see if this does any better. I'm gonna play one more game, but the answer is no, guys. This deck was dominating. Then the snipers figure out how to beat it. Oh. I, there's no way for me to play around Gatling there. There's nothing I can do. We're six and four now. Let's see if we can get to seven and four. That's a hand. Hello. All right, we're just keeping this. Gatling, too good. I know, right? The deck was doing amazing. We were like five and one, but we just died to Gatling and Dragon. Is what beat us. Insanity. It's actually really good first couple of turns here. That'll be fun next turn. My berry blast here, it's not great. Dude. Why here? Like, if he's not sniping, why not take this out? It's so confusing. But now leaping this isn't even good anymore. It would need to have a 4 drop. It would need to have 4 health. It's not necessarily going to work. I think we'll go for the double leap here. Media ammo. Very blessed. Now he doesn't kill this one. Can we please get four health? Please, 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 please. I guess that works. Bye bye. Whee! So now we get a five drop that really. I mean, once five drops basically get the combustible can't remove. He needs like two very blasts. Yes! Works! So we'll give him one of these. Give him one of these. And we'll leap. It's very cool. Do that next turn, maybe. Not even necessarily leaping. I'll take the... If he doesn't block it, we'll, we'll go face for the seven bullseye. Why not? Bye, bye. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll end it on that one. <laughs> Got him. High roll. All right, guys. The answer was no, but that was a really fun stream. That will go on YouTube. Hell yeah. What a fun deck. I feel like there's probably even a way to work on this deck and make it even better. Maybe the better is if it's not winter in Canada and I don't have brain fog. Maybe that's the key. Maybe the key to playing this deck is not living in Canada. It's basically the key to everything in life. I'll be in Mexico soon. I'm spending some time in Mexico this winter. It will definitely, definitely improve, <laughs> improve my play. How did I not play around that three, Peter, man? I feel like there's a certain point where you're playing PvZ Heroes and you're like, Oh, I'm really tired, aren't I? Don't want to make excuses, though. Yeah, I do want to make excuses. I absolutely want to make excuses. Alright, guys. That was the Flag Conjure Leap. Hope you guys enjoyed. Amazing. Really, really fun deck. And uh, maybe we'll make another version someday. See you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.